everybody. Welcome back to Phones and Drones. I just want to put together this quick how-to video for you guys. A lot of you guys have been asking in the comments in some other videos how to change your keyboard and get that LED keyboard or, the, or that chroma keyboard. Super simple. This video is going to be probably less than three minutes long to show you guys how to do it. We're going to do it right from scratch. So let's go ahead and get right to it. First off, jump into Play Store and search for LED keyboard. And this will be your first option that comes up. Go ahead and just install this app. And then as usual for whenever you install new keyboards, you'll want to go ahead and set it to your default keyboard. Go through your regular um, questions that it asks and you'll be good to go. So right off the bat, when you hit OK, you'll have your options and you'll see what you already have active for your keyboards. You're going to want to go ahead and flip the switch on LED keyboard. It'll let you know that it records what you do. Obviously, go ahead and hit OK. It'll also say that after a reboot, the app will not start until you unlock your phone. OK to that. You're going to want to go back, and then you're going to enable the keyboard. And we're going to go ahead and switch it from Gboard to that. We'll go ahead and go with the default one, which you can see is the RGB LED. And we will just leave it at that. Swipe up. And let's just go ahead and hop in, and there you go. You can see just how sweet that actually looks. Super simple. My only qualm with this keyboard is that it unfortunately does not support swiping. It's kind of a fixed keyboard. So you have to type and go. Hopefully with a future release that will be fixed, but just something I wanted to bring to your attention right now. Is just how clean that looks. That's it guys. You can have it as a fixed single color. You can have it with a chroma look. This is the way I personally prefer it. That's it guys. Just wanted to kind of show you how it works. Like I said, keeping this video short and simple. If ever you want to switch off this keyboard, you can obviously just go back into the app store, uninstalled, and it'll go back to your default keyboard prior to when you installed this one. Uh, or if you like it, leave it. That's it guys, like I said, quick video. This will work for any current or recent Android device. Thanks for watching guys, we'll catch you in the next one.